What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crash and Thunders. I'm your host, Crash. And I'm Thunders. And uh, we have a very uh, sad episode here for you today. Uh, we learned yesterday that Jeff Labar, the guitarist of Cinderella, and suddenly passed away. Yeah, and other projects passed away yesterday. And it was at the age of 58, I believe it was. Which isn't old. No. And man, this is a bad year for that. I mean, it's been a bad couple of years, actually. Like, yeah. Eh, yeah. No, and this definitely, one hits yeah. out of nowhere, which is why it hurts so much. Yeah. And similar to my friend Kelv, not even a little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. um, you know, it sucks when it's and I never got to like talk to him or meet him, but you know, it doesn't matter whether or not, I mean, yeah, that can make a difference because I miss Frankie Benali the way I kind of miss a friend because he offered me a beer if I came out to a show and that never got to happen. Yep. Yeah, definitely, Um, definitely sucks. I view it as a missed opportunity because I mean, it seems from what everyone said, he was very nice, very funny, very been you know not you know someone who was approachable like yeah yeah like, no, no you know. big ego kind of guy yeah yep. and my god could that man play yeah I mean, and, he's yeah, really watch, underrated yeah if you ever watch any of his live stuff man he's just jumping all over the place like just going crazy like i love watching you know what really impressed me a lot and made me really look at the stuff differently seeing hair nation who's a four piece with one guitar player tackle a song with two guitars it really shows you to do all that with just one guitar really shows you how much it takes to do that to um, two you know like yeah. the guy could play i mean yeah. you know long cold winter i mean i was spinning that earlier you know on my drive just you know I don't want to be sappy or sad about it. God damn, it hurts. It doesn't seem real because it's just out of nowhere. It, yes, yeah, it definitely did feel like it was out of nowhere. And like, even for me, like ever since I can remember when I was like six, seven, eight. Yeah. Cinderella was the first band I was inter- introduced to, you know, from my parents. And like, I, first thing I ever remember hearing at all is, Jeff I can't remember him. an exact yeah. song, but I remember being struck by the name and my dad telling me about him because I guess one of their songs was on one of the CDs he had ordered off TV in the 90s. <laughs> uh, Crank It Up or whatever was literally the name of the collection. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd have your like standard hits and then it'd have your deeper cuts or whatever. Yeah. And then it would have like a disc of power ballads. Do you remember those? Oh yeah, yeah. There's like box little box set compilations or something. But I, but I remember being like, "Dad, is this ACDC or something like that?" He's like, "No, this is Cinderella." I'm like, "You mean what? Like the movie?" He goes, "Well, yeah, they're named like the movie, but obviously they were heavy enough for me to think they were ACDC." So, oh yeah, yeah. You know, and this around the oh, same yeah. time, I heard Poison for the first time and stuff like that. And keep in mind, I didn't know what the bands looked like at this time. Yeah. The internet wasn't as savvy as it is now. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so definitely for us, a big uh, tragedy, you know, for us, obviously. And for as me, because Cinderella... As a guitar player myself. Yeah, Cinderella... As a guitar was, player myself, it fucking sucks. Yeah, oh, yeah. And Cinderella was, is my favorite band ever since, I, like I said, early, yeah. since I was yeah. six, you know, so... I know. And that never changed. You know? I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you because I saw you walk in, you had your long blonde hair and you were wearing a Cinderella Night Song shirt. I'm like, I need to talk to that fucking guy. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I think I was probably wearing my Judas Priest Hellbent for Leather shirt or something. Yeah, like or some that. Maiden shirt or something. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah definitely. We had, we had our collection. Nice there. shirt. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, exactly. It, so yeah, and speaking of shirts, I got the uh, you know Rock Never Stops 2005 with Jeff Labar right there, and the rest of Cinderella, obviously. I got the Cat House shirt, which is related, but you know. badass, yeah. And uh, definitely, I'll just go through here quick that Jeff Labar did play on all the Cinderella albums, and uh, he did join up after that with uh, Eric Brittenham of Cinderella as well. With what was it, Naked? Naked beggars or bare naked, 
beggars or something like that. What one of the naked there's... ladies? Yes, that one. That one. Really? That was them? I I think. Well, if if that name is correct, because it's oh bare naked God. something. I don't know if it's beggars or ladies. Was I it a completely it. different musical take? Well, for when when I I might have heard one song or two like 10, 15 years ago. And I it's was probably like, oh, not bare know. naked ladies then. <laughs> I can't yeah, so if, no, because there is another band that's like that with a similar name. So yeah. I, can't, I can't remember what it is. But he ended up doing with he did ended up doing a project with uh Frankie Minnelli and uh Marcus Allen Christopher called Freak Show in 2009. As you can see, Frankie there and Jeff. Very good, heavy album. This is a very heavy album. It's and really sad that two guys on that record that you mentioned are gone now. Yep, exactly. And I know I was some guy I was commenting earlier on Facebook, and some guy I was like, dude, some guy had a Jeff Labar, you know, tribute or picture or something. And I'm like, Freak Show was so heavy. And some was guy, it him wearing the Metallica shirt? No, I don't think I know. I don't think because I can imagine that would stir some shit, but. <laughs> No, and, think- and so, but some guy goes like, dude, that was Bullet Boys. And I'm like, no, 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 wrong freak show, wrong freak show. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, Bullet okay. Because I mean, like even Wik- Wikipedia doesn't have nothing on this album. This album is like almost non-existent to people. What the fuck? So, well, yeah. now I'm going to have to have that on the list of things to get. Yeah, if you can find it, dude. I, yeah. It was, well, it the, was even the, hard the, when it came the out. The first Brides of Destruction record is really hard to find, and that used to be yes like it was on sale i think when it came out like, yeah yeah, yeah. really easy to get once it's on the yeah, i know exactly that's unfortunate because that's a kick-ass record that we need yep. to go over sometime too but and then to my knowledge his most recent release is his solo you know debut here uh, yeah uh one for the road and the single is no strings very good very good album you know just he does the singing in it you know just Awesome. You know, and all of this, the only thing that I can say to myself, and granted, I know there were other issues involved, but, you know, when you look at the fact that now Jeff Labar is gone, you know, think about all that time where the other people were active and able, yeah. but couldn't get past whatever personal... And I always think wouldn't that, it have been great to have one more really good Cinderella record? Yep. And well, and like, and I thought of that too. And like, like even I'm, just one more. They don't even have the tour. Mm-hmm. Just do one more. And that's what like, I didn't really understand because, like, back in the mid, he forgot a solo thing years ago, and it was really good. Yeah, like back in the mid two thousands, like they were touring with Poison and stuff, but they weren't releasing any albums and I'm just glad I got to see him live twice, you know, and I'm, yeah, you're lucky. And so we're not going to get a true reunion, you know, now, unless I will, that's what sucks. I will say uh, his son, Sebastian is a guitar. Yeah. I would like to see that. They could do a tribute show in honor of their fallen brother. Like all the Beatles did. Or even if they would do an album with Sebastian, yeah. I'd be cool with that, too. You know? Well, look at what, like, Paul McCartney and, uh, you know, Ringo and them did whenever John and George passed away. You mm-hmm. know, they held huge concerts to honor their fallen friends. Yep. You know, and they had, you know, the sons, you know, they had Sean and Julian and they had fucking uh, even George's son, who literally looked like a split image of his dad. Mm-hmm. when he, george was like young you know it was almost eerie but you know and, something like that because there's so many people that love this man mm-hmm. you know and love the band it, like yeah. tracy guns posted about it last night john karabi posted about it michael sweet I, yeah. everyone is posting see about it. you 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 could bring a lot of people together mm-hmm. yeah and uh, definitely a time of mourning for us, you know, with yeah. this passing. And this is a video that we didn't want to do, but we felt was neat. Like I said, it really fucking sucks. We couldn't get one more good Cinderella record. Because there isn't a bad record in their catalog. Not at all. And you could even and argue. adding that. one more to the list with a modern production with the right vibe. Oh, my God. And you could argue, is there a bad song on any of those albums? I don't, I don't know. I would have to dig deep. I I know every song by heart, but 
all yeah. the top of my head, I can listen. Everything's to listenable. Yeah. I mean, even, you know, as a kid, my dad had night songs and long cold winter on cassette and I inherited them. And both yeah. those records are fucking phenomenal and I they're agree. different from each other. I, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know? I agree. 100%. So, but that's, I think that's pretty much all we have for, for Jeff. I mean, he was a big influence to all of us. Rest in peace, you know. Jeff. Exactly. We love you, man. Yep. Any- I'll be playing tribute to him tonight at 6 p.m. on Alloy Radio, kicking yeah. off my radio show with the Cinderella song and just a rest in peace. And yep, you know that's good. Good way to do it, brother. All right, guys. You guys, you like got to music? man. Yeah, the dude I'll- was a fucking underrated guitar player without a fucking great, doubt. And great live guitar player as well. Yeah, and like I said, I haven't seen anybody say a fucking bad word about the guy at all. So yep. Same here, man. So, all right, guys. Rest in peace, Jeff. Like what we're doing here with the channel. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and also let us know in the comments what your favorite memories of Jeff are, what your favorite licks of Jeff are, what your favorite side project of Jeff was. So, my favorite thing they ever did is somebody saved me. I'm sorry. Maybe that it's I mean, not I, because I didn't even know it was ever a single or a well, hit. I'm not going to. You know, I, I knew Shake Me would have been a nobody's fool, but yeah, yeah somebody I, saved me. Just everything. It, I don't know if subconsciously as a teenager, the, the, the lyrics like stirred around things that I felt but didn't know yet or whatever. Mm-hmm, you know, yeah. like, but you I know, know exactly what you mean. Yep. You know, I. Like I said, rest in peace, man. I mean, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, we're we're pretty much at a loss for words since this happened. So this video wasn't easy for us, but we're here. We're doing it. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Crash and Thunders channel. I am Crash. I'm Thunders, and we will see you guys later.